YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the 20th episode of my FIFA 16 Boca Juniors career mode. In today's episode, we are going to be playing three Barclays Premier League games along with our third Champions League group stage game against Bayern Munich. We start off this episode against West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorne Center and start off very poorly as Peony Sista went down the wing. He somehow outmuscles Eric Dyer and then puts it past Willie Caballero at the far post with a left footed finish, making it West Bromwich Albion 1 and Boca Juniors 0. So, a very poor first half as of this point, but Felipe Caicedo does go around the West Bromwich Albion defender, has the finesse shot from just outside the box, and the Ecuadorian striker does level the scoring at 1-1, tying it up at 1-1 at the Hawthorns. So, a really solid goal by the Ecuadorian, really salvaging a very poor first half overall for Boca Juniors. Now West Brom have an attack in the 51st minute. It's going to be West Brom running down the wing. They whip it across. It's a header one. I believe it's Salomon Rondon putting it past Willy Caballero to give West Brom a Chelby in the lead. We need to come back, and Lucas Romero is on the ball right now trying to make that happen. He fake shots around, gets taken out. No penalty. Very interesting decision by the referee. Now here comes Hector Bellerin run down the wing. He gets taken out again, and again, no penalty. This is really shocking refereeing so far. Bellerin still going, no fake shots, gets the ball back, Bellerin gives it up, but unfortunately, it is good defending by the West Bromwich Albion defense, and that's the game ending, so a very disappointing result away against West Bromwich Albion, but now we go into the biggest game of today's episode, Champions League group stage game against Bayern Munich at the Allianz. Andres Kubas runs down, plays through Eric Dyer. The English centre-back fake shots around one Bayern Munich defender, but his shot is denied and blocked by another one. And that would be the end of the first half, so a really solid first half. We were out playing Bayern Munich, not creating a lot of clear-cut chances, but the ball was in our possession most of the half. Frank Ribery came close with a left-footed shot going off the post, but it really didn't look like it was ever going in. Willie Caballero would have saved it if it was on target. But Carlos Tevez does get played through in the 67th minute. He's running down the wing. He cuts it back to the inside. He gets taken out by Dante. This time it is going to be a penalty. Not really sure if that actually was a penalty, unlike some of the other decisions that didn't go did it go our way. This one does go our way, and Paulo Dybala puts the ball into the back of that past Manuel Neuer, making it Boca Juniors 1 and FC Bayern Munich 0. So, a fantastic result so far, but in the 80th minute, Paulo Dybala is running down the wing. He gets taken out by a Bayern Munich defender, no penalty, but I am glad that they did call the penalty kick and not that one because I definitely would rather have a penalty kick than a free kick in our own half. But Paulo Dybala is running down the wing. He ball rolls around the defender, gets taken out by a good challenge. Carlos Tevez outmuscles one defender, going through one-on-one, -on -one, has the shot, Neuer with a big save. It's header cleared back to Carlos Tevez. Tevez has a poor first touch and does keep the ball in play. Lose it. Gets it right back from David Alaba. Tevez run down the wing. Still trying to create something. Carlos Tevez goes around Dante. He has the shot. No, he gives it up to Cubas who loses the ball. I thought he was going to shoot, but he did not. And now... That is the end of the game, so a fantastic victory over Bayern Munich. I'm thrilled to finally get a victory in the Champions League, our first one. And now, going through to the knockout stages looks very more likely. As, as of right now, we would be going through, along with Real Sociedad, we now go into the second BPL game of today's episode against Swansea City. Caicedo gets taken out in attack at the start. Now here comes Carlos Tevez run down the wing. Tevez plays in across to Gary Medell, who... Oh, he just heads the ball to Jonathan Caleri. Really missed opportunity for the Chilean central defensive midfielder to get a goal. But Jonathan Caleri gets played through on a pass. Fake shots around the Swansea City defender and makes a calm left-footed finish into the back of net. Fabianski had no chance and the Argentine striker does give Boca Juniors the lead over the Welsh side Swansea City, making it Boca Juniors 1 and Swansea City 0. Carlos Tevez goes around one Swansea defender. He could have the shot. He does have the shot, but a great save by Fabianski denies Tevez of an absolute wonder goal. And that would be the end of the first half. So a very solid first half for Boca Juniors. Very happy to be 1-0 up. Hopefully we can keep this and get three points. But unfortunately, Giffy Sergensen runs down the wing, plays it through to Nathan Dyer, and his shot gets deflected into the back. And that a very bad break for Boca Juniors. So 
Really disappointing to give up a goal, but I knew we could score a goal right back. But now Swansea's running down the wing. Andre Ayew gets taken out by Hector Bellerin. No way, that's a penalty. Bellerin gets all ball, in my opinion. And after some of the decisions that haven't gone our way today, there's another one. Sigurdsson hits the post with the penalty, but unfortunately, another Swansea player is right there to tuck home the rebound. So unfortunately, we do go down to Swansea City. So it doesn't look like we will be getting all three points. Hopefully, we can still get one, but... Unfortunately, Swansea intercept a pass. Nathan Dyer, the goal scorer, plays through another one of the assisters, and it goes through to Andre Ayew, the man who won the penalty to give Swansea the lead, and this time he's scoring the goal, heading in across from Geefy Sergensen, giving Swansea City the victory. So, very disappointing to lose to Swansea City, and our final game of the episode is huge to break a two-game losing streak in the league. And it's against River Plate. An absolutely massive game. Our big rivals. This is a huge game. Not only because we have been struggling in the league. But because River Plate are huge rivals. Starts off in the game. Carlos Tevez is running down the wing. Goes around one River Plate defender. Before cutting to the inside. Ball rolls. Gives up to Insuna. Who turns. Has the shot. And Insuna scores the goal in his first game against River Plate. The Argentine left back. Does put it past the River Plate goalkeeper. Giving us the lead. Against River Plate, and this is absolutely massive because we could get a victory over River Plate. And Suna hasn't been playing well all year, but a goal against River Plate will definitely help his credentials. And Insuna goes around another defender, has another shot, and scores another goal. So Insuna scores his second goal in the first half, getting his first half brace, doubling Boca Jr.'s lead over River Plate. And wow, what a way to make your debut in this rivalry. Unfortunately for us, the 2 0 lead would not last this the whole first half as a Alexis Sanchez makes a world-class finish into the back of the net, putting it off the post past Willie Caballero. Goalkeeper had no chance, making it River Plate 1 and Boca Juniors 2, cutting our lead in half. River Plate would have the first tack in the second half. It's going to be Roberto Pereira getting on to a pass from Curvatur, and Roberto Pereira does put it past Willie Caballero at the near post. So disappointing to see Willie Caballero get beat time and time again at his near post and shots that he should save. So unfortunately it's tied at 2-2. We need that guy Carlos Tevez to step up. He gets played the through ball from Rodrigo Palacio and Carlos Tevez scores the goal in the huge rivalry game against River Plate, giving us the lead, making it Boca Juniors 3 and River Plate 2. Palacio gets played through a ball in the 89th minute. He sees Tevez. He plays it through. Carlos Tevez unfortunately cannot finish it off, but it does not matter as we do get the victory, and that will wrap it up for this episode of the Boca Juniors Career Mode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Boca Juniors Career Mode and other FIFA 16 content.